Hi, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick video for you guys. Um, I've been getting tons of questions on like how to apply makeup and basically just really basic questions. So I'm gonna do a full face of makeup, but I'm just gonna use really simple products, things that you can get at the drugstore mostly. Um, and I will show you what I like to do on a regular basis. I'm gonna start off with my Fit Me, or Maybelline Fit Me concealer. And I will show you how I like to apply the concealer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend all of this out. I like to apply this in a triangular motion. So from the corner of the eye down to around the outside of the nose and then up past my eyebrow. By doing this, it's going to really open your eyes. It's gonna give you that really nice wide awake look. And then I, whatever excess I have, I'm going to spread it onto my eyelid just so that I don't have so much contrast because I do have darker eyelids as well. And you can already see the difference between this eye and this eye. I will say the Beauty Blender is my favorite applicator for foundation and concealer. It just creates such a flawless surface and it really does blend out really well. I will also take just a little bit of whatever is extra and I will go up the bridge of my nose. And a little bit of a fan here. And all of this is, I'm concealing and highlighting at the same time. So I concealed my dark circles, but I also highlighted so that you can see some brightness and it draws the eyes upward. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna use this. I use two shades, I think, since we've been in quarantine and I haven't been outside, I'm going to use the lighter shade and this is in golden tan. The other one that I have is classic tan and I'll use that one when I'm getting a little tanner um, and I'll just kind of blend the two together. But since quarantine happened, thanks COVID, I'm just gonna use the lighter one. And if this looks really light for me, don't worry. I'm going to bronze a little later. And I just pounce this all over my face. I try not to cover too much of where I just highlighted and concealed. Ladies, make sure you get your neck. No one wants to see those cake lines. And I will go ahead and, look, this is the only spot that I will um, mix the two foundation and concealer, but the rest of this concealer I will not cover with my foundation. I will put just a tiny bit on my eyelids up top. Before moving on, I'm going to use a translucent powder. Right now, the only one that I have is by e.l.f. And I will actually use it with my Beauty Blender as well. So I'll take my Beauty Blender and I will put it right into my translucent powder. And I will apply it right to my under eye area. This is where I crease often. So... I don't really crease anywhere else, but underneath my eyelids. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit my T-zone, just any place that I'm gonna get oily, usually. All right. So 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to bronzing the face. And what I like to use is my Fit Me Press Powder. Um, mine's in the, in the shade 330 Toffee. Um, this is just an Echo Tools. I'm not really fancy with my brushes. They all do about the same thing. So I'm just going to generously apply my contour. So if you're not used to doing contour, suck in your cheeks a little bit, or you can just push your lips to the opposite side of your face. And you should be able to see where your cheekbones are and you're gonna go just underneath the cheekbone. And then I like to come up and shade around my hairline. And then whatever I have left over, I will go ahead and drag that down. So this next part is really personal preference. Um, I enjoy contouring the sides of my nose just a little bit. Um, and by doing this, it just creates some more definition, that's all. So I'm still gonna use the same powder and I have a smaller brush. And I draw a line from the tip of my nose up to my eyebrow. Again, personal preference, I like to do this little line around the tip of my nose. If the lines look a little harsh right now, don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna blend it all out later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the face. This is what I would also use if you were doing blush. I personally prefer a bronzer instead of a blush. Um, mine is by Milani. The shade is Solil and it's a baked bronzer. So with this, I'm just going to apply it to the cheekbones. And I make this awesome face when I do this. So I hope you make <laughs> a really awesome face as well. So I will make this awesome face like I said and I will start at the apples and I will work my way back and I like to put just a tiny bit right on the tip of my nose and I'll take a tiny tiny bit just a little bit and put it on my forehead. Once that is done, so I'm going to do an extra step that I don't always do, just so that um, in case it is something that you want to do, um, I am going to go ahead and highlight. Um, I'm going to use my product by MAC um, you can kind of use any shimmer product that you want. This is my absolute favorite. So I'm going to use a flat brush. And this is going to go right on top of your cheekbone, the highest point of your cheekbone. So think about where the sun hits you, and that's where you want a little bit more reflection. So right on the tops of the cheekbones. You can even highlight the tops of the brow bones. Um, that's a little much for the look that I'm going for, and I don't normally do that. So I'm just gonna do the tops of the cheekbones. And then I'm going to take a clean brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything in.
together. So that'll get rid of a lot of the harsh lines. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. And I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know where that accent came from. But I'm going to take the lighter of the two shades and I'm going to start that on the inside of my eyebrow. So the way that I do this is I will draw a line and then I will feather up into my brow. And I'll do the other side before I move into like the tail part of the eyebrow. So for the outside part of my brows, I will go ahead and dip into both colors. I like the outside of my brows to be a little darker, a little thicker. And I will always start with the top part of my eyebrow. Another thing, make sure that your face is as relaxed as possible because if you're drawing your eyebrows and they're like, you know, you're very expressive, you will probably draw a shape that is not the most desirable. So try to relax your face because I know for me, this eyebrow likes to go up higher than this one. So I have to remember to just really relax my face. Now moving on to the eyelids. Lorac Pro palettes are my absolute favorite palettes ever, 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 ever. The eyeshadows are so creamy and so blendable. I love these products. Um, they're very pigmented. And like I said, they're really creamy so that you can just apply some more, blend it out. Apply some more, blend it out. Super buildable. So, they all have names. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So, I'm going to use a color called Clay, and you can clearly see I love this color. <laughs> so, I'm going to dip into that. And this is going to be my crease color. So, this is just adding a little bit more dimension to the eyelid. So basically this is, to me, this is like the same thing as contouring. It just kind of creates the depth across your face. And this one creates some depth across your eyelids. Another little tip that I like to do is I enjoy putting a little bit of orange just on the top. It creates a little bit of color. It looks like I've actually done something more so than just um, contouring out my eyelid. So I will take just a tiny bit of the orange and I will go right on top. And then whatever excess I have on my brush, I'm going to just fluff it across my eyelid. Then with a flatter brush, I'm going to dip into Almond Pearl. So basically it's just a shimmery, it's closer to white, it's definitely not white, um, but it's like a fair skin tone highlight. And I like to just put this right underneath my brow bone. I will take that same highlighting color and I will put it on the inside of my inner corner of my eye. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyelashes and I'm just going to prime them 
I find that using a primer is a huge game changer. Um, basically, it's just a white mascara that goes on top first, and it accentuates the lashes a little bit more than if you didn't use a primer. And then I'm going to use my absolute favorite mascara, and it is by Rimmel, and it's the Lash Accelerator. What I love so much about it is that it has such a tiny little spoolie, and you can really get up in there and get really, really close to the lash line. So another tip of mine is that I like to do my bottom lashes first because if I do my top lashes first and then look down to do my bottom lashes, my top lashes will actually touch my eyelid and you know transfer the color. So I always do my bottom lashes first. Another little tip of mine, I really like my lashes to look pretty full towards the line, like the lash line. So what I like to do is I'll go in and I will wiggle my brush right at the lash line and I will leave the top. I don't know if you can tell that I've, I haven't touched all the way at the top. So I'm gonna move to the other eye while this dries a little bit. And again, I'm just wiggling at my lash line at the base of my lashes. Now that I've done that eye, I'm gonna come back to this eye and just focus on the tops. For the final touches, me personally, I don't really, I'm not huge on lipstick. I definitely prefer like a shiny lip balm. So I'm just using a balm from Burt's Bees. And you're done. So that was my super easy routine. I hope you find it really helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching was really helpful and yeah I hope you can use 